If you are looking for completely free tax filing for 2022, then you definitely want to check out Cash App Taxes. This is formerly known as Credit Karma Taxes. So there are a couple of upgrades and changes that you'll want to be aware of. Stick around, we'll be going through a complete review of Cash App Taxes in this video. Hey guys, it's Justine with the College Investor Investing and Personal Finance for Millennials Cash App Taxes taxes, which used to be credit karma taxes, it's still one of our top tax software that we got to review this year. And I want to start off with this video on how to log into Cash App Taxes because this is kind of a barrier. If you can get it set up and log into the app and then log into your computer to do your taxes, you're set. So let's go over how to do this. All right, so I'm gonna pull up my app here so that you can follow along with me. So feel free to pause this video if you wanna go ahead and set this up. First, you're going to open up the Cash App phone, download it, and then you're going to see down here at the home button, the little home icon. If you scroll down, there's going to be this line that says free tax filing, estimate your 2021 refund. So then you can click file now, continue, log in with your email address, and then it's going to send you a code to your email address. I'm gonna add that in here, 863, got it. And then it's also going to send a code to your phone. So there's multi-factor authentication, which is actually a good thing when you're talking about your tax return because identity theft has gone crazy the past few years, especially when it comes to your tax return. So you'll wanna make sure that you are with a tax software that has this type of security added. All right, so then I'm gonna enter my name and some identity stuff to make sure that I'm really me. And it pretty much looks like I have unlocked everything from my phone. Okay stumbling into some roadblocks here, but you are going to have to scan a QR code on your phone, log in with your phone, and then come back to your laptop. So again, this is the big barrier with Cash App Taxes, and so that's why I wanted to highlight it to make sure that you guys know exactly how to get in because it's worth it because it's completely free. So let's go ahead and log in. And now it says I should be switched back to my computer and I'm back in and this is where you can start filling out your tax return. I find it a lot easier to use my laptop when I'm thinking about different forms that I need to input into a tax software. Doing it on my computer versus my phone is way easier. Okay, so we've answered the question that Cash App is really free. Credit Karma Taxes was also free last year and so is the same software, but I wanna tell you about a couple of changes that happened for 2022. Along with the name change and the changing of hands here, there were a couple of downgrades that we noticed. The first thing, and one of the biggest things that you'll wanna be aware of, is that Cash App Taxes does not support automatic imports of your tax forms, which is a huge bummer. You have to manually enter in your information. So as you are getting your tax forms, you're going to have to manually enter that information, which could leave room for error. Also, we noticed that the product didn't pick up any over contributions that we may have made through a self-employed 401k plan. And so usually those things are red flagged right away. And we didn't see that with this software. So that's something that you'll wanna pay attention to. If you have an eye for detail, it won't matter to you. But if this is something that you aren't familiar with, it could trip you up. All right, now that we are completely logged in, let's go ahead and hop inside the dashboard and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here we are in the dashboard. So one of the notable features is the requirement of multi-factor authentication. So before I could even get into this window, I actually had to scan a QR code with my phone, as I mentioned before, in order to log in. And you're going to have to do that pretty much any time you need to log into the software. So either it's a feature or a drawback, but I think the main point here is that 
having a second form of authentication is really good practice that few other companies offer. As I was going through my filing experience here, they really do customize the software according to what your needs are. So in the beginning, I filled out some basic information and this really does streamline that process. So it basically gets you to the content and the documents that pertain to your tax filing situation. Just a quick rundown of what this looks like because a lot of the tax software that I have tested have a menu navigation right here on like the left hand side. But everything here is streamlined in Cash App Taxes. This is the same basic function and user experience as what it was last year under the Credit Karma name. It's it's nice. It has the different sections that you can go and peruse through. You can see what sections I have started, such as the self-employed stuff, and what things that I still need to look into, such as savings and interest. And so the way that they have you go through this is very guided. And I like that when you go to hit start, because I did say I had interest that I earned that you can add in a new interest form and it's super nice. So they'll take it section by section or you can toggle to this single page view in which you'll have all of the different form sections for one form in one view. So you can kind of scroll through and as you're looking back and forth between your 1099 form and what's here on Cash App, you, you make sure that you have all of your boxes filled out correctly. There's even these nice little green eye icons where it can tell you a little bit more about what they're asking for in that particular box. One of the drawbacks here though, is that you can't import these forms. So if you have a PDF that you downloaded from let's say Robinhood or some other brokerage account and you wanna upload that into Cash App Taxes, that's just not possible. You have to manually enter in these numbers and if you have a lot of different forms, this can be very time consuming. All right, to get to their help center, you just click on this little three dot button and it'll pull up a different window that says tax help center. And then you can peruse through their knowledge base and their different articles here if you ever need help. One cool thing about Cash App too is that they offer free audit support. So if there is a chance that you get associated with an audit, the support is included here with Cash App. Also, I like this handy button up at the top that gives you a summary of your taxes so far. So it's going to show you exactly how these things were calculated, any kind of taxes owed, credits and withholdings, and then any possible refund that you might have. So there you go. Make it even sweeter. A free audit defense, no hidden filing fees, accurate calculations, all that good stuff is right here in Cash App. I think this is a simplistic way to do your taxes. It's not clunky. It's very straight to the point. Cash App Taxes actually is pretty robust considering it's a completely free software. Now, it's not the premium feel like a TurboTax or an H&R Block, but it is way better than some of these bargain software that still charge a, a fee to use their services, such as Free Tax USA, which costs 15 bucks to file. This is going to be a better experience and you won't have to pay a fee to use it. So that's why Cash App makes our top list of tax software to check out for 2022. If you are still trying to figure out which software to use, don't forget we have complete walkthroughs and reviews of all the latest and greatest tax software at thecollegeinvestor.com.